How's it going guys? Ben from Chemical Apes here and welcome to Subnautica Below Zero. So in this guide I'm going to be showing you where to find lead and how best to find it, the techniques that I use. Okay, so where do we need to look? We're going to be looking around the Twisted Bridges biome. Um, now there is a particular hotspot that I'm going to take you to. It seems to spawn quite a lot of it, um, but I'm going to be telling you what to watch out for, what to use and various other tips and techniques that I use. Now, in this area there are brute sharks. They do around about 30 damage uh, to the player. So they're pretty nasty. Um, so we want to try and avoid those all po if all possible. So what I recommend you have is sea glider, high capacity tank, rebreather as we will be going below 100 meters, and a mineral detector. Okay, so let's crack on. Okay, so we're going to be going directly south from the drop pod and we're going to be going a distance of 430 meters. Guys, this isn't exact, this is just my research into hot areas where they typically spawn and they're quite easy to find. Now, tip one, I recommend you do it during the day. Believe me, it makes a big difference. I'll give you an example of that when we get there. Um, if you need to check distance at any time, then just check it from the light pod. But you, you can easily do this in the sea glider. Just keep above 25 meters and you'll stay clear of the brute sharks. If you've got the sea truck, then you're all good. Okay, so once you get in around about 400 meters, you should start to see the thermal spires biome, which is these. And what we're going to be doing is looking right at this. Now, like I said, guys, you can do it in sea truck, sea glider. Obviously, you're going to have to get out your sea truck. But again, guys, like I say, this is a relatively safe area. Now, I'm taking you to this area because it does tend to spawn a lot. Now, what I typically use, guys, is the mineral detector. And I effectively search for Galena outcrops. It'll start searching for that. It is a 30 meter sort of range give or take so it isn't brilliant but there we go guys now this is your galena outcrop there is a 50 50 chance we're going to give you titanium or lead titanium typical okay so what we're going to do we're going to crack on now feel free to do it in sea glider now if you came at night this is the difference you're going to have a real headache one, one trying to meters. find them oxygen efficiency decreased. so this is where the mineral detector comes in but I do recommend you do it during the day it's just going to help help a lot now what you want to be doing guys is searching all these sort of cliff walls there's the first lead all these faces here cliff faces here and you should get around about a dozen at least within 10 minutes but that's it guys so hope you enjoyed the video remember like subscribe and comment that's it ciao for now bye bye